and uh, we heard a lot about Isaiah Winstead and coming into the program. But, you know, Jalen Johnson, I mean, he may have thrown a little bit off the board last night, but he did not have the radar that he did two days ago. Yeah, well, I, I, you know, I don't know about the radar. I probably didn't look at the radar. Jalen was the first that one we got, and that was who we were most excited about. Uh, Aaron Auer is uh, – ex-Georgia, you know, student coach, and he knew him well. Todd Munkins, a very close friend of mine, is OC at Georgia. We work together, talk all the time, and uh, I'd gotten a lot of information from him. And, you know, it was just it was a hard place for him to be the guy at Georgia. And so he was looking just, you know, for that opportunity, which is what all the kids are looking for right now. So, you know, we thought he was going to be fantastic. He came in, pulled a hamstring, I guess, third day of spring ball, and up until that point, though, he was really showing some signs of being pretty good. But, you know, three days, you, you don't have time to really see a lot. So we were excited. He, he uh, was a little bit banged up during camp and the whole bit. So I guess maybe everybody wasn't talking about him quite as much. I think he kind of liked it that way. Just kind of let me lay low, come under the radar, as you say. But I, we sure had confidence in him the whole time. I know they dropped a couple balls. We talked about that last week. But, you know, that happens, you know. You don't want it to happen, but it happens. But but no, he's pretty good. Yeah, we're we're excited about him. Well, we always say the running game is the quarterback's best friend. Uh, no doubt, it it is much easier to throw the ball when they're playing the run. Uh, it's hard to throw the ball when the Defense can just put their ears back, rush, you know, run all these exotic coverages, give you all these different looks. So we we were a little more balanced. We, you know, in the second half, we obviously got the running game going. I'd said last week, but the running game is what got us going back in the game against uh, those other guys up up the wet road there a little bit just because we got a couple runs going, and I thought that relaxed everybody. I thought that made the defense have to adjust a little bit. Then uh, – it was tough running. It was tough running again. And, and we're going to see that because, obviously, coming in, you, they all watch tape and they see those two backs running up and down the field. And they're like, you, know, you have no chance to beat a team if you can just let them turn around and hand the ball off. Okay, so nobody's going to let you do that on purpose. Uh, so it was tough. And I, I think we're balanced anyhow. I'd say we were the most balanced offense in the nation last year, and that's really what we want to be, the, the ability to do either one equally well, not necessarily 50-50 number of reps, though it does seem to turn out to, to be that way for us. But uh, we'd like being able to do both. Uh, and when the run game goes good, the passing game usually a little easier, and vice versa, though. Well, they're they're the best, uh, truthfully. I mean, like I said, I've been in it. This is 40 years now, okay? And that's amazing because I'm not that old, really. I'm only about 48, right? Uh, so I got an early start. But they have been the best about just being team players, being best friends, supporting each other, you know what I'm saying, loving the one-two punch, not, not wanting to be like, hey, this has got to be about me. I got to be the guy. So they've been the easy part. We, we've talked a lot in camp. Because all of a sudden we started getting some some go-to guys, you know Isaiah, you know CJ coming back, okay, Jalen there, okay, Josiah didn't get to play the first two weeks, but he was in that mixture too. And then there were some other guys like Taji Hudson and Macy O'Donnell who thought, you know, hey, I'm I'm going to come in and be a go-to guy. And we it was kind of like a basketball coach. We got to say, you know, there's only one ball. You're going to have to. Everybody's got to do their job. You got you got to set some picks. You got to rebound. You got to get some assists. Eventually, you know, they'll fluff off and you'll get your shot. Now, make your shot, and you'll keep getting it. And all the kids have done that pretty well, but those two especially because, obviously, everybody builds it up. They're going to have 2,000 yards. You know, they're going to be all that, and they're going to be the next Chris Johnson and, and all that. And, and it doesn't always come just like you want it to. You know what I'm saying? If, if our plans worked out like we wanted them to, it, we'd all be in different places or have different lives, I guess. I don't know. Maybe not I go. He lives a dream life, but the rest of us maybe would. Uh, but they, they've been awesome. Yeah, they really have. Again, not to us because I see a lot of the big plays they're making. You know, they're catching some touchdowns. And, you know what I'm saying, a touchdown catch is worth about seven other catches, I would say, at least in a ratio, you know, that way. And they've done a nice job with that. Tight ends have a lot of different things they do. And, and that's, that's the beauty of that position is that 
they play like true tight ends, which is sometimes like an offensive lineman in blocking, okay, pass protection, run protection. They also play like wide receivers. They flank out. They, they run routes from in tight. They actually line up in the backfield for us. You know, Ryan's run the jet sweep and stuff like a running back and things like that. So they have big assignments. They enjoy that part of the game, okay, you know, because I think they, they're kind of proud of themselves because they are so versatile. And uh, – I think teams are, you know, aware of them. I think in the scouting report, they're probably in there. You know, when they see them get the ball, they see Ryan Jones get the ball and he turns it up, you know, like on that bootleg in the second half. You know, that, I think that gets their attention a lot. But we, we've got a lot of different weapons. I hope that makes us tougher to defend uh, because we can spread it out. If you take somebody away, somebody else is ready to, to get the ball. And you get this eye healthy at that this weekend. We do. He will be back, and he's had a pretty good week of practice, and so we got to find a way to get him in there. And, uh you know, I'm looking forward to that. He he gives us the one thing that we don't have, and, and we've got guys that run well, but they don't run like he does. Now he he can flat fly now. Okay, so that gives us one more take the top off the coverage. And you know what? Sometimes that's a decoy role, but you got to take pride in that. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't always get the ball. But I hope we can get him the ball. Houghton better wind up because you got to throw it pretty deep sometimes when he runs. Yeah, well, he he came here to play. So, you know what I'm saying? He expected to play. We expected him to play. We weren't sure how it would fit in. We knew that we'd try to get the best five out there that we could because, you know, the old line, it's better to have five good than four great and one bad. You got one bad one, and then the whole thing's going to be be ruined. But so we weren't sure that we, we liked that about him, that we thought he could play tackle. He has the size. He has the length. He has the athleticism to be able to do that. Uh, I'm glad he's here because with, with Bailey's situation, he's had to step in and, and be a tackle. And he's loved that. I think he's loved it. But he would have loved guard as well. He just wanted to play. But that's why he came here. He came here to play in the two games like we've just played in, you know, in good home atmosphere, games that are important, games that people care about. Uh, you know, he wanted to win both of them like the rest of us did. But uh, – he, he, he's he's enjoying it. He's been a great addition. He's fit in well. It's almost hard to believe that he's not been here longer. You know what I'm saying? He and Isaiah both. They, it, I, I have to – you're right, they're just got here. It's hard to believe they fit in so well so quickly. Well, I guess Russell, who's back for the Sire Keaton? Well, that would be a good race. It really would be. And uh, I'm not sure, though. Uh, the Keaton's looked pretty fast, I guess. The only one that's been close is Zay Jones, I guess, to him, right? Uh, and somebody sh showed me that today. Uh, decide I'd be right there with him, though. He really would be, yeah. Great. Thank you.